Hello English 100 class. This is your second video for week two about reading, taking notes, and looking for the, the themes while you read. Okay, so the first video was about taking notes about dad and the patriarchal family. This video is going to be about the second theme, modesty, female sexuality, and the Madonna whore dichotomy. This theme comes up starting in chapter eight, and then you'll see it a lot for the next few chapters. So let's go to page 78. So this is in chapter, what chapter number? This is chapter eight called Tiny Harlots. So this modesty theme about girls and modesty comes up in this chapter, and then you'll see it a lot. It becomes a big deal. So page 78, let's go there. Because in this scene, Tara wants to take a dance class. She's 11 years old. She wants to be in this dance class, okay? And they're talking about getting outfits for the dance performance, like little ballet outfits or leotards or that sort of thing, okay? So she's a little girl, she's in a dance class, she wants to be in the outfit for the performance, okay? So on page 78, in the middle of the page, Tara says about the, the leotard and dance shoes, it isn't modest. And so we have this big scene about the dance outfits, because they're not modest, like they're too revealing or something. Remember, Tara's only 11 years old. And um, so they're talking with the dance teacher and everything like that. And on the next page, 79, the scene keeps going. Mother says, the skirt will be how long? And sheer? No, that's not going to work. Tara can't wear that. And then there's this amazing line in the middle of page 79. Um, Tara is looking at the other girls in their outfits, and she says, I thought they looked like tiny harlots. Harlot means prostitute or whore. So this issue of modesty and how you can dress if you're a girl really comes up in this chapter. And it's really interesting. And so this scene keeps going. I would just put one thing in your notes about this. But this scene keeps going. Eventually, the dance teacher gets these big sweatshirts for them to wear. But I would go all the way till page 81. And you might underline things in your book if you want. But dad, on page 80, dad goes to the dance performance. And he's really mad. Because he thinks it's not modest. <laughs> he doesn't think girls should be doing this. Top of page 81, I wrote with my pencil in this spot because it's really interesting note about dad and this theme. So here's dad's opinion. He says it claimed to teach dance, but instead it taught immodesty, promiscuity. Satan was shrewd, dad said. By calling it dance, he had convinced good Mormons to accept the sight of their daughters jumping around like whores in the Lord's house. So, dad's reaction. So this will come up again when you meet uh, Tara's older brother, Sean. But for now, I just wanted to give you this example of the modesty theme. And it comes up from pages 78 to 81. And I would just describe it really quick in your notes. So you might write, um, you know, tiny harlots, uh, the, the uh, Tara's dance outfit, and to how dad reacts or something like that. So just write one note for these three pages and in parentheses write pages 78 to 81, okay? So definitely be looking for this theme and maybe you'll do topic two in the essay if you find it interesting. Thanks.